All of my representational work is based on nature, and I would say my best origami designs come only after a very close look at the natural subject. Often, when I'm, when I'm designing some natural subject, I want to capture the important lines. And if I take a shallow look at the subject, um, I might design something and then say, no, that's just not right, but not know why. But very often, if I look really closely, um, I see elements of, that, that I missed before that turn out to be key. And a good example of this was, uh, was the cactus that I did. I, I kind of naively thought of cactus as a blob with just a lot of spines all over it. And, but trying to fold something like that doesn't, doesn't look very cactus-like. But then going to the desert and looking at how real cactus grow, barrel cactus, saguaros and the like, you see the, the spines are very often organized into rows. And even where uh, at a spot where a spine comes out, it's very often a little cluster of spines. It's not a single spine. And part of one's perception of a cactus is sort of seeing these little rosettes of clusters and, and the, behind that, the organization in the rows. And it wasn't until looking at that detail closely that I was able to develop a structure that I felt really captured the character of the cactus. Whenever I take a trip to, uh, uh, to some distant land to see the wildlife, Alaska, Africa, or Galapagos, I always come back with new origami designs that I could have designed working from books or, or, or internet pictures, but there's something about seeing the real thing up close that, that touches you deeply, that gives you a perspective uh, that one can't get from simple imagery.